Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, we're making homemade spinner baits, and they pretty awesome. So, stick around. On today's DIY, we're making some homemade spinner baits. It's pretty dang simple, and you can come up with some awesome ideas of your own if you make your own. So today's DIY is freaking cool. And speaking of DIYs, if you had not checked out my channel page, go over and check it out. I got a long list of DIYs that'll help you save some money. And if you see something you like, click subscribe and click the bell so that YouTube will notify you when I post videos and you can watch them. So let's get started with this homemade spinner bait because I think it's gonna be freaking awesome. Spinner baits are awesome for fishing and they come in every shape and every size that you can think of. Some spinner baits have single blades like this one and like this one. Most spinner baits come with two blades on them. They generally come in a brass color or a chrome color. These are Indiana blades if I'm not mistaken. This is a serrated one. These are called willow blades. They come in brass and they come in chrome. But spinner baits are one of the best baits out there for fishing. I'm a fish catching machine. And today, we're gonna make our own spinner bait. Now the first thing we need to do is get us a jig head. These jig heads right here would work. I got this extra jig head that I've had for a while and I'm gonna use it. And as you can see, it's kind of comparable to any spinner bait jig head. Pretty dang close, so we're gonna use it. Now the next material we're gonna need, I have some stainless steel TIG welding wire and it's 308. I think 035 would probably work better for spinner baits, but I already had this because I got it for another project. Now you can get stainless steel wire on the roll. You can get it at Harbor Freight. You can get it off Amazon. But the thing about getting it on the roll is you're gonna have to straighten it out. I like this TIG wire because it comes in straight pieces. And the tube of this stuff's like $15. You might could even find it cheaper than that. But when you take it out, it's gonna be straight and it's gonna be easier to work with. Now our first step is we're gonna take our stainless steel wire and we're gonna attach it to our jig head. And don't worry about it being super strong. Just attach it to it. You look at mine and think that ain't gonna hold, but it will hold and you'll find out why in a second. All I'm doing is wrapping mine around and close it up really good. We just want it secure but it doesn't have to be super beautiful or super secure. You see how I got it wrapped around like one time? That's what I meant by you just need to secure it or it can't come off because our next step is gonna lock it in for good. And that next step is JB Weld. We're gonna take JB Weld and we're gonna form our head and we're gonna get the wire pointing out of it the direction we want. You can get all different kinds of JB Weld. You can get it for water. You can get it for whatever you want. But I like the steel stick. I think it's hard and water don't penetrate it. So it works fine. And this is what it looks like when you open it. It's a black putty and it's a gray putty. And you cut you off a little piece and you just knead it until both colors blend together and it's ready to go. All it is is epoxy. And then we're gonna put it on our head and we're gonna start shaping it and get the shape of the jig head that we want. Okay, now we got the shape of our jig head. We line our hooks up. You see how we want our wire coming up this way? And that's all you really have to do. It ain't nothing complicated. The head doesn't have to be perfect. You mostly want it balanced on both sides. I mean, as close as you can get it. And you want this thing straight with the hook. That's the most important part. This part here, I didn't make mine as big, but I just need a place for the rubber band to hold when I put my skirt on, whatever kind I use. There's tons of different kinds of skirts you can buy to put on a spinner bait. Some of them come with rubber bands and some of them come with a little plastic lip. I don't know what you call it. These are kind of easier to put on. The rubber bands hold better though. And the cool thing is we're just shaping a little head shape and you can make it any way you want to. The weight itself is in that jig head that we used to start with. So it's already got the weight in it. And this JB Weld, it hardens fast. It's already hard. And that wire ain't gonna move now. That's why I said you just need to attach it. It doesn't have to be super strong. When you're kneading and molding this stuff, it's a little bit sticky. So get it all kneaded out, put it on there and start get your shape. 
And when you get your shape close, I spray a little WD-40 on my fingers and that'll make it quit sticking to your fingers. And then when you rub it, you can get it a lot smoother. Now the next thing we need to do is make our other bins. And to make our bins, I'm not getting fancy or nothing. I'm just using a cheap pair of needle nose pliers. This first bin here is pretty easy. We're going to bend it all the way around like we're making a circle. And then we're going to grab it on the other side and we're going to bend it back. After we get our bend in, make sure everything's still straight. We'll measure up on the blade side. This is what I'm talking about, the blade side. We're going to make a loop and on our loop, we're going to need to put a swivel on it. It's kind of hard to see this thing. It's so little, but you can get these little loops off of Amazon and they just hold your blades on so they can turn freely and they just slide on the shaft. Most of your spinner baits either has like tubes, like these little metal tubes, but a lot of them just have little beads to keep it from hitting the end so it can turn freely. What you can do instead of using the little loops, you can get some little tiny swivels and these things are little but you can just slide a swivel on, use a snap ring, and hook your blade to it. You can get these tiny little beads off Amazon, or you can get them at Hobby Lobby and places over in the jury section. So the next step on our little spinnerbait DIY is we're gonna have to slide our first blade on, and then we're gonna put a bunch of beads on it to keep it from hitting our second blade. And like I said before, you can get every kind of blade you need on Amazon, there's all kinds of links. If you really want to look around, just type in spinnerbait accessories and it'll show you all kinds of stuff they have on there. All right, we got our first blade on there. Now we're going to come up here on the end and we're going to make a loop. We're just going to bend it around in a circle, but we're going to leave it a little bit open so we can get our last blade on there. And this blade, we're going to use a split ring and a swivel. Something like this right here. All right, I got my hand bent. You see how I left it open just a little bit? We need to leave it open so we can get our swivel in there and then we'll just mash it shut with the pliers. This here doesn't need to be super strong because the only resistance it's gonna have is the water pulling on the blade. You know, while I'm thinking about it, you could use these bracelet connectors that I used on the video a couple weeks ago where I made all the homemade lures using supplies from Hobby Lobby. This one's got butterflies on it. That's just an option if you got some laying around. I got blades everywhere that I ordered, so I'm using my blades. And I know this isn't typical bass fishing tactics here, but you can get you some little tiny swivels that open and you could put one of these on your spinner loop and you could put one of these on your end loop and that way you could change your blades out. Let's say you want brass blades instead of chrome blades, you could switch them around. Or you could have some painted blades on there and put some shiny blades on. That's just a thinking out of the box option that you could do if you made your own. Okay, we got both our blades on now. We put our top blade on and we mashed the loop shut. And the good thing is this wire is really stiff. That's why I prefer to use the well wire because well wire is stiff stuff. All right, next, we need to paint this thing before we go any farther. So let me find some paint and we'll get that done. All right, I put a little bit of tape over my hook and I taped up the blades so they wouldn't get in the way and get paint all over them. It's not really a big deal if you get paint on your hook though because a lot of these lures come with paint on the hooks. I found some uh, neon green paint. I might use that. But you know, you could use nail polish, which would work good. I did a lure video where I used rabbit fur and made crappy jigs and I painted the heads with nail polish and it worked out pretty dang good. All right, now that we got our jig head painted, we got our spoons on, all it needs now is a skirt. It would be best to use the rubber band kind, but you can use these kind too. And if you do, our little stopper's kind of small, so I'd probably advise putting a little bit of super glue on it. But the rubber band kind would work even better. There's a lot of different choices when it comes to spinnerbait skirts. I mean, they make about any color you can think of. So next, we're going to take our spinnerbait skirt and we're going to put it on our spinnerbait. And there you have it, a DIY spinnerbait. I'm a fish kitchen machine. Now we need to try this thing out, see how it works. Okay, so I screwed up a little bit. 
I think I put this blade on backwards. So I'm gonna switch it out to a different blade. Now I would have to take this whole thing apart to get this off, but I'm just gonna clip it off and I'm gonna use a split ring and I'm gonna put a different blade on it and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so I changed it out to an Indiana blade. It's got a swivel on it too now. So that should make it looser and help it turn easier. And now I can add this thing to my spinnerbait collection. Yeah, I'm gonna try that out next time I go fishing. I mean, look at that. Just look at it. Now that right there is a sexy lure. I'm sexy and I know it. Well, that spinnerbait turned out awesome. Spinnerbaits rock. I'm a fish catching machine. Hey guys, if you like this video, click that like button. And if you're not subscribed, then what you waiting on? Click subscribe, people. What you waiting on? What you waiting on? And as always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next build. Now that right there is awesome.